My name is Professor TK the Chemist, and I am a chemistry professor. I teach on here on this virtual platform Monday through Thursdays at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and also in the after in the evening time on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 excuse me p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good morning, Alyssa. How are you doing? Yes, I'm glad you're here today. So, and what we're going to be doing. I'm doing good as well. I'm doing good as well. Um, what, what I wanted to do this afternoon, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about a mindset. We talk about Mindset Monday. It's my, I'm going to start a new series because I think it's important that we actually discover what's holding us back. You know, a lot of you guys are doing chemistry. Yes, Alyssa. A lot of you all are doing chemistry and there are some stumbling blocks along the way where a lot of you are thinking, dang, I can't do this. This is hard. I've been out of school for too long. But you know what? It's all in your mind when it comes to battling these concepts. It's, it's a mindset thing. And I talk about mindset a lot because so many students want to do it, but they get held back with their own mind. Do you all know that so many people can talk themselves out of doing something? Just like people can talk themselves into doing something. When you start thinking about the thinking about the thought, <laughs> you know, before you know it, you'll realize you have talked yourself out of doing what you need to do to conquer your goals. And so I wanted to tell you all today, Yes, yes, yes. You this look, this is for all of us. When you remember when they say when you're pointing the finger at somebody else, you got three coming back? Well, that is true. I'm not just talking about you. I'm talking about me as well. It's a mindset. And I know that many students want to do well. They just get discombobulated with so many thoughts that come into their mind every day. So what I want you all to know and understand is that Whatever your goals are, you can achieve them. It may take you three years versus someone that takes, you know, five years. Whatever the case may be, you do what's for you, what works best for you. But don't pity patty around either. We can't keep doing these pity parties where we feeling sorry for ourselves and saying, oh, woe is me. Okay, there, there's somebody else that's going through the same thing you are. But what's the difference between what they're going through versus what you're going through, even though they're both identical, is the person that takes action. The person that wants to get up off their duff and get some movement going, get things going, get things pushing, get things in that spinning mode. Hey, Winston, no, I do not do physical chemistry. Hey, Hayes. I go live Monday through Thursday, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, and on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But if you want one-on-one, -on -one, you can book a session, and I'll be more than happy to address all of your concerns and needs. We do have to have a different mindset, though. So many students come on this platform. I have, and listen, I've been teaching for over 25 years. Okay, what's up, Shauna J? How you doing? How are you? Alyssa says, how do you overcome a battle at home that makes you feel like that mentally? Honey, let me tell you. Let me tell you. We have to learn to speak over ourselves. We have to tell ourselves something positive every single day. I used to have a podcast a long time ago, and at the end of it, I would say, never let anyone lower your aura just because they aren't where they need to be. A lot of times people take out things on you. They take out their frustrations on you because they see what they could be doing for themselves. And because you are executing things in a different manner, they're mad. It could be your own spouse, your parents, your children, your, your lover, your whoever your family members. And so because you have people who don't want to see you do well, you could be sleeping with the enemy literally and figuratively. And let me tell you, when you got people like that, that are 
demeaning you and making you feel bad that you're in school at 30 years old, 40 years old, hell, even 50 years old, you've got to stop telling them your next move, okay? You got to stop telling people your next move because there will be times where they're going to talk you out of doing the right thing. And you have to be the person that says, you know what? I'm not doing you today. You don't have to tell people everything that you're doing. You really don't. I know sometimes we want to get celebratory uh acts of people around us that tells us congratulations you got this but let me tell you that's going to be far in between think about the entrepreneur the business owner who starts their new business how much support do they get initially how much support do they get after they've been in business for six months a year 10 years the people that tend to not support you are your family and so-called friends and I put friends in quotation marks because so many people, unfortunately, hate the fact that they're not doing it. They hate the fact that you are doing it. Even going back to school, even going back to school. I'm going to tell you, a lot of the, the, the students that follow me, they are, they are what we call non-traditional students, meaning they've come back to school after being out for so long. So they may go back to school at 25 years old or older. And so when you go back to school at an older age, your mindset is a little different. You move differently than if you went straight out of high school. You may not have been ready for it at that time. And that's why your goals don't have a deadline. However, you do want to put some things on paper so that you can start writing down your vision. Okay, now I'm not trying to get all preachy in here, but I do know whenever I read my Bible every now and then, you know, in Habakkuk, you know, it tells you that if you write down the vision to make it plain, it will come to pass. So we have to put our visions down. You got to speak it out. You got to put energy behind it. Okay, you've got to put energy behind it. Yes, and I'm telling you, I, I used to always say, and my father reminded me of this quote that I used to tell him all the time, you got to make your haters your motivators. Because at the end of the day, when you've surpassed them going up that ladder of success, they're going to be hating themselves and kicking themselves saying, why didn't I do this? Well, again, my goal wasn't for you. And so you have to move in silence. You have to move in silence where you don't tell people what you are doing. I know some people use these platforms, these social media platforms. It's like a virtual diary where they're just um, uh, putting that they're documenting their stuff and they don't really care who looks at their stuff. So they are virtually putting their goals and dreams on this platform. And that's fine. And then, you know, you can block your family too. If you don't want them to see things that you're doing, you can block them. I've learned the hard way that everybody doesn't want you to succeed. Even people that call themselves your family and your friends, they don't want you to succeed. I got stories for days, okay? I'll share one of them. I was going through a time in my life where I wanted to give up. And when I shared this certain situation that happened to me, with the very people that I thought were cl my, the closest to me, who I've known for over 25 years, I shared something with them. And do you know they could care less? They looked at it as, well, hell, you got everything going for yourself. So why are you down and out because of this one little stumbling block? But when I needed them to talk me off the edge, they weren't there for me. So that's why I'm telling you. And of course, I have since moved on from them. I don't even call them. I have not blocked them. I won't block them, but I just don't talk to them anymore. When they were going through their health challenges, I picked up the phone. I sent them cards. I sent them well wishes. I sent them, you know, just different things. It wasn't reciprocated back when it was my turn to go through something. So I have learned. Yeah, they will flip it back on you. They will throw it up in your face. That's why you can, let me tell you, you don't have to tell people certain things about your personal life because people will use that against you. They will throw it back in your face.
They will be like, see, it's about time that B got to go through something now. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are people that hate to see you happy all the time. And in the one moment that you get down and out, psh, they are congratulating. They are happy that you're going through something. Because some people actually think that you got it going on. And so we just have to be mindful. Yeah, it is sad. Yes. And that's why I tell you all, it's, it's Mindset Monday. Mindset Monday. See, the only way you're going to get through chemistry is it's in your mind. The only way you're going to get through your calculus classes, your nursing classes, if you're in school for whatever it is, passing the T's exam, the Regents exam, the AP chemistry exam, whatever you're in school for, it is a mindset thing. There are those that will and there are those that won't. You have to set yourself up for success and start doing things that's going to make you feel better. So when you're studying this stuff and you're seeing these chemistry equations that are, that are hard, you know what you should do? Take a break. Take a moment. Breathe in, breathe out, and go do something different. Go do something physical, like even if that's walk around your neighborhood for like 10 minutes, come back, hit the reset button and get back into it. I tell my students all the time, you're welcome, honey. You are welcome, Alyssa. You're welcome. I tell my students all the time, you got to stop worrying about, well, what if I can't? Well, what if you do? Flip that around and say, well, what if I do do that? So you've got to take out those blocks, those stumbling blocks that are making you feel like you can't do it and just get in there and do it. I'm serious. I am serious. You've got to turn off the negative energy. And let me tell you, you got to be your own hype woman or hype man. You got to clap for your own self. You got to tell yourself those positive things. Start your day off with some motivational music. I have several playlists on my, on my um, phone for that reason alone. I got to set my mindset. Even though I've been teaching for almost 30 years, y'all, I still have to reset my mind because I got to give myself to you, to my students. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Purple Love. Thank you, Oreo. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate that. I, I'm just saying, I mean, I know, I don't know we do chemistry every day. Y'all, y'all hop on here with me and y'all enjoy what I do. But I want you all to start rethinking your goals. And it's okay to, to say, you know what? I'm going to have to change and go a different path. It's okay to do that. Now, I'm not telling you all to give up on your goals and dreams because several students have told me, oh, I've taken the exam four times. Well, let me tell you, I've had to take chemistry classes two times. Okay, we're talking about when I was an undergrad. I was partying and BSing, you know, that Biggie song. I was playing around, having a good time, being in college, and I didn't take things seriously. And I messed around and found out, you know what, you got to do this class over. And rather than me withdrawing from the class, knowing that I was not doing what I needed to do, now I've got an F on my transcript that will forever be a part of my record. And that was over 25 years ago. But that's why I'm telling y'all now, certain things weren't for you at that appointed time. And it's okay if you've got to take things over and over and over. Do it over until you get it. How do you all think inventions were started? Inventions come about because somebody had to make a mistake multiple times to know, oh, this is what's going to work now. Even down to the food that we eat, to, you know, the chemicals that we put in the food to know if it's a good thing or not. Somebody had to be the experiment in order for us to know what we should and should not do. So even with your work, when you're doing chemistry and you're doing a problem and you're like, damn, I don't get it. I don't get it. Rather than getting frustrated, just stop what you're doing and go back through it and try to replay in your mind what your teacher said, what your professor said, what I said. What did your notes say? You got to do things in, in smaller increments to break things up so that you don't get discombobulated 
sitting there at that computer for a long time getting frustrated. And then we cannot wait to the last minute either. See, that's another thing that we do. We wait until the last minute and expect everybody to move out of our way. Case in point, you're rushing, you're driving, and you're speeding because you're like, you know what? <laughs> I got to get there. But because you weren't prepared adequately in the process, now you're wanting everybody to move and park the, the street for you so you can go on through. But it was because of your lack of preparation. Yes, Shauna J, that's right. The old way didn't work anymore. That's right. That's why that Tupac song changes. The old way wasn't working. We have to come up with something different. Changes changes. We, we have to do things differently. Just like me, you know, working out. Y'all, I was an avid runner back in the day. When, and I would say back in the day, it was 10 years ago. I was an avid runner. I was running half marathons, 5Ks. I did a full marathon. And let me tell you, the training taught me a lot. At that time period, when I needed that in my life, it taught me a lot about myself. But then guess what happens? I stopped doing those things for 10 years. Y'all, I was grinding, eating right. I was vegetarian, doing everything I needed to do. Then life happens. And then I started going down that woe is me block. And woe is me block is strong. That block is strong, y'all. When we talk about spin the block, <laughs> misery loves company. So if you want to talk negative, guess what? That's when everybody wants to come around and hear your pity party story. And they give you ammunition to keep on being having that pity party story. So that's why, like Shauna J said, we got to change the way we do things now. When As you get older, you can't keep doing the same things you did in your 20s. Okay? You got to put aside the things that you did in your 20s. Even eating. When, as we get older for women, I'm speaking to my women now, when we get older, the weight doesn't come off as easy. We got to do extra stuff to make that weight fall off or melt off. And so we trying to compete with the girls, these young girls, that, that ain't cool. Like I tell people all the time, it, you had a time when you wanted to dress your dress a certain way. Why are older women still trying to dress like the young girls? Why are you still trying to compete with them? If, if, if you see that these young girls, you know, have nice bodies or whatever, and you're trying to compete with them, let them do that. That Everybody has a time and a place. I don't need to see grandma with a short skirt on and showing her, her gifts, okay? I, I don't need her, her doing all of that. Now, grandma can still look fly and foxy, but I don't need grandma looking like she's 30 when she's 70, there's a time and a place for everything. So even when it comes to your studying, there's a time and a place for everything. Our eating habits have to change. You can't keep eating the same foods expecting the same results. You got to dial back. Because what we were doing in our 20s, our metabolisms were different. And now they're completely slower. Studying, the way you could just look at something one time and, and, and then tap out. Now you got to look at it every day. You got to make your plans differently. And if you have children, guys, listen, you got to dedicate time for your children too. And your family, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot sit here and say, you know, cause let me tell you when you, even though you're in school and you're working and sometimes you feel like, gosh, I just need a break. And let me tell you, you're going to blink and your children are going to be grown. So spend that valuable time with them, even if it means you got to get up an hour or two earlier than them or go to bed later while they're asleep, you're burning the midnight oil. So for those of you all that are mothers of young children, you got to do what you got to do. So while they're sleeping, you're studying. Make sure that you're there for them too, because our children are watching. Our children are watching us. And if you don't believe me, sure. look at what's going on right now. You're right, Alyssa. Some parents don't care. And that's why we're dealing with them. Y'all, aside from me teaching, I actually go out into the community. I do STEM outreach programs for kids. 
And when I go out there and do these programs for them, I can see the kids that want love. They're always coming up to me, hugging me. And, you know, as if I'm their auntie, I'm there to do a science program. I'm there to inspire them and motivate them to want to go into science. And so I believe in my heart of hearts that, that I'm doing that work, you know, to, to impart that gift in them to, to tell them that they can do it. Even though they don't see me every day, but just knowing the fact that that lady that I see coming to my school, who's giving me hope. Sometimes that's all a person need is hope. That's all they need. These children need more than hope though. And unfortunately they're not getting that at home. You're right. They're not getting that at home. A lot of parents are tired. However, we have to do our part. And because you know you can do your part, do that. If they're in after school, like we have to stop making excuses and wasting time. Because everybody gets 24 hours, yes. Now, some people don't have assistance, okay? Some, some parents don't have the nannies. And I'm not knocking you if you got a nanny. But what I am saying you have to do the things you have to do based on what you have. Okay. Everybody doesn't have the fortunate situation of being able to have a babysitter or a nanny to help them out. Alyssa, you said you are the eldest of six kids. Yeah. There's a lot of weight that goes on us that are the oldest of our siblings. It's just my sister and I, you know, but at the same time, Oh, if you go and do the research, you will see that children, the people who are like the oldest, we are overachievers because we were always taught at a young age that you have to set the tone for your other siblings because they're looking at you. And so we have big shoes that we have to fill. And then as parents, we have children and then we try to do the things that we, you know, that were done to us when we were little. But again, we have to know a time and a place, a time and a place. So again, that's why I say, tell y'all all the time, I can do a thousand problems on here every day with, with you all every day, but none of that's going to make sense. If you keep saying, I don't get this, I don't understand. And you're not doing anything to try to make it work. Do y'all know when you're in school, they have tutoring centers. Those tutor centers are there because your tuition has paid for that. Your professors have office hours. If you're in high school on this live, okay, because you were taking a little break, mm -hmm, you have your teacher for after school or before school. The thing is, you all have to realize that there, there is help if you go and seek it. There are tutor centers People like me also who go on these platforms to give free help. Some of us do charge a fee, but there are too many resources out here for you not to be able to be successful. But it is a mindset thing. Another thing I want to tell y'all too, when you put things down and you say what you want to do, you say that you want to succeed in life. You got to also believe it. You can't just say it and then not put no action behind it. You got to have faith the size of a mustard seed. We're talking about a little microgram, okay? A little microgram. Faith. You got to believe what you say. You got to speak over yourself in a positive way. You got to knock out those negative comments that your body likes to make about you. Or the mindset that, girl, you ain't going to do it. You ain't going to succeed. Nobody else in our family did that. So why are you trying to be Miss Goody Two Shoe? Yes, Alyssa, yes. You got so many people who will knock you down along the way, but you got to speak over yourself positively. You got to stop telling yourself, oh, you're not going to get this. You're never going to make it. You got to kick those, those thoughts out your head. The stinking thinking. You got to. Remember, if you believe you will succeed, you're right. If you believe you will fail, you're right about that too. 
Two things can happen at the same time. Two things can be true at the same time. That's right. Hold yourself to a standard higher than your excuses. I love that. I like that. Let me pin that. Yes. Hold yourself to a standard higher than your excuses. Y'all, and, and again, I'm not just telling y'all this and me not going through anything because a lot of students feel that tend to think that their professors are perfect. Like you have your, your degrees and so, and you're smart, but y'all guess what? You are smart too. The fact that you want to go back to school to become whatever it is, you're smart too. It's a mindset thing, y'all. It is a mindset thing. You got to believe it to achieve it. I see so many people on here doing well. And then some people that aren't. Some people are attention seekers. And then there are others that truly do what they got to do to succeed. But you know what? If you want it bad enough, you'll do what you got to do. But don't waste time and money. Don't waste time and money. When If you're getting financial aid, take advantage of that, that financial aid. Because once you don't do what you got to do, guess what? Sometimes we don't get second opportunities. You got to jump on things right then and there. If you, if you have a test coming up and you wait until the last minute, that is not the time to discover you need a tutor. I tell parents all the time that come to me, you should put your tutors like myself on a retainer. Same way we do in law enforcement with the, with the law, we put the attorney on retainers, you got to put tutors on retainers so that you already have that money in a savings account for that time that may come. So many students say, I need a tutor. I ain't got the money. Well, didn't you get financial aid? And even if you didn't get financial aid, um, we save money for things that we want, whether it's to get our hair done, nails done, a pair of shoes, a new purse, uh, sneakers for guys, you know, haircut for the fellas, whatever the case may be. We save money for what we want to have, but we don't save money for what we need. We save money for what we want to have, but not for what we need. And the free resources in school is true. They mentioned exactly what you said. Tuition pays for it. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm telling y'all, you got to bug your professors, your teachers. I know they. it may seem like, oh man, I'm getting on my professor's nerves. Guess what? You're taking their class for 16 weeks for a reason. Eight weeks for a reason. However long your semester is or however long you're in that class, you're taking it for a reason. You're paying us to teach you. But you guys, you cannot wait until the last minute. You got to get up, get out, and get something. As I quote Goody Mob, get up, get out, and get something. Don't let the life of the days pass you by. You got to get up, get out, and get something. Okay? They do. They love when, they, when, we, when, you, when you all come into our office and say, I need help. Hey, we love it. And you know what? I be hooking my students up. When they come to my office hours, I be like, look, this is what you need to know for your test. You see this problem right here? All I'm going to do is change the problem around. I'm going to add an extra number or I'm going to actually change the numbers around. But you're going to see this question on the test. Now, I say that during class time, too. But when my students come to me during office hours, they already have a heads up. Because I am encouraging them to do what they need to do to succeed in that class. And shoot, I might even let them tap in and see some of the test questions. Like a quick flash. Like, look, look real quick, boom. What you got? Can you show me how to do this problem? And then I'm able to walk them through it and show them, you know, fix the mistakes that they have. Okay, so I, I want to tell y'all, it is a mindset thing. I know several of you guys came in, you know, wanting to do chemistry. But this, this I had to lay this on my heart this afternoon, y'all. I had to lay this on my heart. And that is, 
It is a mindset thing. And until you figure that out, none of this is going to make sense. And to my kids that are in high school, because I'm going to put this replay up. I'm going to put, I'm going to post this replay on YT. Okay. It's going to go on my YT page. Come on, hot. High school students, if you got a lot of personal things going on at home, oh, you're welcome, Brianna, you're welcome. For those of you all that are, because when you're an adult, that's different because you can kind of do things a certain way. But when you are a child and you're still at home, things are a little different. So you can't just walk out your parents' house. However, you still have to stay busy. Keep the forefront, keep the focus of me graduating high school so that I can leave home in a good way. I, I, I'm going to get that scholarship so I don't have to come back home. Because I'm going to tell you, a lot of my students, when I was teaching high school, they were going through a lot of stuff at home. And I used to remind them, hey, I know it's bad at home, but if you graduate high school, you can go to college and not look back. And I know college ain't for all of my students. When I was teaching high school, college isn't for everybody. But I tell them, if you graduate and you go to college and you stay on campus and you get that financial aid, you don't have to look back at home. Okay? You do not have to look back. You have to understand that the only way you're going to make your circumstances change is by what you do. We cannot blame our parents because I'm going to tell you, Parents do the best they can with what they have. And when you become a parent, you'll realize that too. I used to be mad at my mom and daddy. I used to feel like they were so strict. But once I became a parent, I realized why. Why they were strict. Because I too had to, had to move that same way with my kids. I mean, they're grown now. and They're doing well. But sometimes we hold our parents to certain standards not realizing what they were doing in the background to make it work. And I'm not, yeah, but uh, look, even the parents who were uh, abusive, because I know that happens too. You have to learn to forgive your parents. You're not forgetting what they did, but you have to still move on and forgive them because that's the only way you're going to be able to move in your life. You cannot keep blaming your parents 30 years later saying, I couldn't go to school because my mom and dad. Well, guess what? It's 30 years later. You are grown now. You should be able to do things differently. So I just wanted to come on here, y'all, to give y'all a mindset lesson and reminder that until you get that through your head, None of this is going to make sense. None of these chemical reactions that I put on the screen will make sense. None of this right here is going to make sense. None of it. Until you get in your mind's eye that you can, you will, you must. Okay? Now, I'm going to go and answer some of y'all's questions because I, I just wanted to give y'all that. Y'all are so welcome. Yeah, Alyssa, I'm, I got you. I got you. So I will be posting this replay again so that you all can get that motivation. If you need to go back and hear it again, you got it. You got it. Now, um, some of y'all want to get some chemistry stuff done.